Hello, I'm Richard. And in this video, we're going to once again uh, discuss a little bit about the bed lift mechanism and our progress. Uh, I've got the channels mounted on the wall. And what I'm about to do now is I'm going to, I'm preparing to connect the cables to the trolleys. I'm calling the, the piece that glides up and down in the channel, I'm calling that the trolley. And the cable's going to go from the trolley up around a pulley, around another pulley here in the corner, over to a pulley here in the center, off screen at the moment, but I'll show that to you, and then down to the, the truck. And uh, the purpose of what I'm doing right now is to establish the um, kind of the center point of the travel of the trolley and where I want to reference all four of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm putting a reference mark and I'm using a liquid level. In other words, I have a, a piece of tubing and I put antifreeze in it so that it would show up well. So hopefully it shows up on camera better than just water would. And I'm using it to find the level between all four corners of the bed and these bed channels. That way all of the trolleys are at the same position. And then, you know, I'm going to lock them in place and I can tension my cable initially and then I have an adjustment point on the truck in order to fine-tune that later on after I have the full weight of the bed on there. So let me zoom in and show you a little better what I'm doing here. Pardon the shaky camera here. So you can see just above the water level or you know, coolant level is where I put my mark. And let me show you what I did on the other one here. That's my level thing. Here's the truck. I've mounted it to the back wall. And you can see that these will go up like this. And they're adjustable so that I can adjust the slack in that cable to get everything to ride just the way that I want it to. Now, from the trolley, which has a cable thing on there, from the trolley, it goes up and goes around a pulley. This is what I was showing you in the last video, this part. So, the cable goes around this pulley to the corner. Now, this one is lower. This is the corner one for this rear. So this pulley is three-eighths of an inch lower than the one over here. Okay, that means that this cable will be riding right above this cable three-eighths of an inch, which puts the rear cable on the lower pulley, the one towards the front on this upper pulley, and they will come across to here. And you can't, uh, maybe you can see it right there, but so there's four pulleys there and they're at different elevations also. So this will be the rear one, which is lower, will be that bottom pulley. And then the top pulley will go this taller one. And then they come down, two cables from each side, so a total of four cables for each of the corners. And they come down to this. I have it mounted to the back wall right now, like I said, because I'm going to be pulling the cable and tensioning this tape cable. Okay, you could use a turnbuckle or something like that for doing the tensioning. I decided to do it this way so it would all be right here. And this will all be enclosed in a box. 
against the back wall here because this is going to ride real close to the back wall. So none of these cables, this truck, none of that mechanism will be seen when all is said and done. And then this right here is where the winch line will attach. The winch line will go down to the floor. Don't have it in place yet, but there'll be a, a, a larger pulley there. And that pulley will go across, and the winch is going to sit about 18 inches or so. Well, the back side of the winch will be 24 inches from the wall. And that will raise and lower this truck, which will allow those cables to go up and down, which will cause the trolleys to go up and down. Okay? So, one more time real quick. What I'm doing is I'm finding a, a, a reference point about halfway in my travel. This is in the travel where I want it referenced. And so, how do I get this point on the other corners? For instance, all the way over here. Well, I do that by using what I'm calling a water level. And so, boom. And then I'll move this hose to the other two corners and do the same thing. And that'll give me a point that's exactly the same elevation as that one. It doesn't depend on referencing from the floor or from the ceiling or anything else that may be off. This is strictly atmospheric pressure which acts the same on both ends of the tube and allows me to have a perfect reference on all four spots. So that's what I'm doing now and then once I do that then I'm going to take the trolley and put it at my point and I'm going to lock it in place using you know the, the little net or you know attachments that go inside the, the channel and I'll lock that trolley in place. So the trolley will be locked in place. I locked the uh, truck in place by screwing it to the back wall. And so I will just snug those cables up. And uh, like I said, then I have the ability to do a final adjustment. So that's where I am on the bed. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you that next phase uh, where the bed frame will be in place, uh, the um, winch will be in place, and we'll show it operating. So, suggest you subscribe, make sure you don't miss that next video to see <laughs> if this thing actually works. I've never done this before, you know, this is just uh, the way my head, you know, perceives this to be. Is that really going to work? We're going to have to wait and see. So here's a shot of the cables installed. So that's the cable truck. Like I said, screwed to the back wall. And our four cables on our adjustable links right there. Cables go up to our distribution block to go to the door side of the trailer to go to the sink side of the trailer and go across to the corner pulley which allows us to go across the back of the trailer and then down the side of the trailer the one closest to the rear is on the lower pulley at the corner there and then one comes across to the front one which is three-eighths of an inch higher and drops down. So you can see I've locked the trolleys in place so they can't move. And uh, the wires have a little bit of tension on them. Just enough to where I want to try to get them to where they're all close to the same length. Not exactly perfect tension, but close enough to where we can do the final adjustment here and be okay. So next I'm going to do some work on the uh, winch 
setup, which will attach to the bottom here, as well as the brackets that I have that will attach to this, you know, to the trolleys. And then there's a bed frame that will go across between the trolleys all the way around. It's going to be a metal frame with uh, slats and plywood for the, the base and then I have a 10 inch memory foam mattress. So let me get a little more done and I'll, I'll show you the, the progress at that point. This is the, uh, the bed platform going up. I already tested it with the uh, mattress in the box. I didn't want to open the mattress up yet. There's still stuff I'm going to do to this, but just to make sure it would lift the weight and all that. I got up there with it. Um, yeah, not a problem. <laughs> so here's uh, here's the thing going up. And uh, this is just all sitting in place. It's going to be uh, glued and screwed, the pieces, so that they'll be basically laminated. And like I said, I've been up there, no issues. Um, there's the winch. Again, I just got it wired temporarily here. Uh, and this wire truck and these wires will be boxed and you won't see them as well as the winch will be in the rear storage area back here so i just wanted to show you what it's like going up it it really goes <laughs> really really travels quickly whole thing goes up and down in, in just a, a few seconds <laughs> So I haven't done the final leveling or anything, but it, it seems to be really, really close. So and you can just 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 bump it if you want to make a slight adjustment. I mean, other than the noise, and of course it's not enclosed right now, but uh, still, I got to feel it will be somewhat noisy but you know what's what's 20 seconds a day <laughs> or less than 20 seconds a day of a little bit of noise and uh, like i said when it's all the way up i can walk underneath it without any issue but not really going to anyway because we're going to have a table and seating in the back area here so and the head height of the bed uh, when it's down it's going to be exactly the same as is our bed, uh, our current bed at home, which is a sleep number bed on a pedestal. And uh, so no changes there. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to work. So pleased with that. And uh, well, I continue on. Still lots of work to do.